was like the black sheep, ugly duckling of the E30 world. And they just don't get no love. When whoever ordered the car direct from BMW, all that, didn't tick any boxes, none. It's basic. So I've got no power steering. And to me, I, know, I grew up without power steering. You know what I mean, it hasn't got power windows. They wind up windows. So less to break, less weight in the car. I mean, so it, it's just all that sort of thing. It hasn't got central locking, so central locking can't break. You know what I mean? And that's what I like about this particular car because it's bare basics and I've added to it. <laughs> started off in my late teens driving Italian cars, Lancias, Fiat's, Alphas, Alpha Suds and all that, um, purely because the mechanicals of them, because my mates were all driving Fords, so I'm like Escorts, Capris and all that, so, and it just didn't do nothing for me. Um, the love with Italian cars didn't last long because they didn't last long because they just all fell apart, you know what I mean? It's like you go out one Saturday afternoon, Wash your feet at 131 Mirror Fury, go indoors, come out Sunday morning, and then the car would be on the floor in a pile of rust. You'd sweep it up and then go and buy another one. You know what I mean? So, and so I sort of drifted away. Then I had a bit of a thing about V8s and then E30s. E30s sort of took my thing, you know what I mean? And, I, and that would must be like 30 years ago. My first E30 was a 1985 1800. Luxor beige two-door chromey, colour changed it to a metallic blue, lowered it on some apex springs, I've got some wheels off a of Mark 1 Golf, and then it was time for the engine to go because it was so slow, you know what I mean? So there was a car on someone's driving bark inside just down the road here, and it worked, it belonged to a doctor, he'd written it off, it had a 2.3 six pot in it, so I bought the car off him, I think it'd give like 40 quid for it, Went down, towed it back outside my house, pulled the engine gearbox out, all the drivetrain outside my mum and dad's house, swapped it over into my blue one, you know what I mean? And that's where the passion started, and it just went on from there. Back in the day, I was very, um, everything had to be OEM, you know what I mean? And I sort of did slightly frown upon like modified cars, it's just that I've, as I've got older, I've changed. Bought the car 2013, 2014, um, it looked tidy from the pictures. Uh, it was at the back of a car site in Chelmsford. I went over there, had a look around it, and it was just your typical rundown, unloved E30. But it started, it drove, it had an MOT, so I paid the guy the money, drove home. But once I started poking around and everything, it worked out that the inner rear arches were rotten, the rear arches were rotten, the rear panel was rotten, bottoms of the front wings and the outer seals were rotten. So, so it just cracked on. It originally had cloth trim in it as well, um, just comfort seats, and that weren't good enough. So my pal was selling some sports seats in leather out of his two door that he was breaking. Um, which I colonised at the time, and they look fine, you know what I mean? And then about three years ago, every winter I like to add and improve to the car, and I thought colonised seats ain't good enough for this car, so I pulled the seats out, sent them off to the trimmers, they got recovered, new leather. The following year, I was looking at the car with its nice fresh leather seats, and the door cards were letting it down, so I pulled all the door cards out, they went off to the trimmers, and I had the handles and the door pockets done as well. Even when building it, and I'm putting posts up, it's progress and this, that, and the other. People are going, oh, why are you doing that to a bar and all that? I said, because I can, and I want to, you know what I mean? And I, and I think with what I've done to the cars, put, put the bows, sort of brought them forward so people can actually admire them now. And a lot of people do, you know what I mean? There is a lot of people who do admire them. Originally I was going to go for a 2.5 and I was braking a lot of E30s at the time so I had a couple of engines laying around, good engines, 
but then there was a guy posted up on one of the Facebook pages that he had just a parcel of bits to build a 2.7, so the 2.7 block, the 885 cylinder head, he had the BTB exhaust manifold, uh, a pipe camshaft with 289 duration exhaust and lit as well, and the whole lot was 1500 quid. So I just had to buy it, and that's how I got to start the route of the 2.7. So all the bits come back here, I totally stripped it out, rebuilt the whole engine, bolted it together, dropped it in the car. But originally it was just running on the stock inlet manifold and stock um, throttle body. So I put an enlarged throttle body on it, which did improve it a little bit, it, it read better, but it just wasn't enough. It didn't have that wow factor. Um, see a couple of E30s running around with throttle bodies on them, and I was like, that's rare. And I, I want something different that, that's, that pops out of you. So I went down the route of um, throttle bodies and I think it's the best thing I've ever done to it. The sound is just immense. I, mean, I just love it. I contacted a company called CNR Custom Wheels, the boast over in Poland. Had a little conversation via email with them saying, I would like to step the bottle top wheels up and all that. And they said, yeah, not a problem. Um, but obviously because the 14 inch wheel, they have to go to a 17. I would want you to go to a 16 so I had a bit more rubber on it because with the 17 inch wheel I feel with the, the 40 mil side wall it, it doesn't kill the drive but it, it's not the best drive in the world. Not, I think the ideal size is a 16 inch wheel for an E30 but the wheels look good. A lot of people really do like them. I've had no negative um, feedback on them, you know what I mean? And I'm really surprised there's not more cars in the UK with the wheel. I thought once I got them, two years later, I'd be changing them because they'd be everywhere. But the reason they've stayed on the car for five years, because you just don't see them. It's not my daily, it gets used. I mean, it only comes out in the summer. It does the shows and stuff like that. But obviously once the 2002 built, then obviously this car would get a break. You know what I mean? Some people have a go because you're not using the car in all sorts of weathers, like when they're gritting the roads and salting the roads and, and out in heavy rain and stuff. And the reason I don't use it is because I've spent so much money on the car and the way I've built the car, I, I want this car to last another 40 years. I mean, by going out and abusing it in all sorts of weather, and we ain't got the best, best weather in, in the winter, I mean, it will just kill the car and, and it, it just pain, it'll pain me to drive that car in the rain. And people do rib me for it, but I'm thinking it's my money, it's what I've invested into that car, and I want that car. That car, this car will get passed down. It's never going to be for sale, and that one will never be for sale. It's these cars are for my kids, and I expect them to last when they're 40 years old and still be in this sort of condition. It just makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, it really it's. All those hours that you've spent building the car and putting your mark on it and for it to be appreciated with a, a bit of plastic or a trophy I mean it's it just makes it all worthwhile it's really good one of the pinnacles of the E30 was not long after it was built I was contacted by performance BMW magazine and they asked to do a feature on it and I've never in a million years I wasn't building a car for that you know what I mean I was building a car for me for me to enjoy and stuff but to get those sort of things to get a feature in a magazine it, it's, it's brilliant it just makes it all worthwhile I, I like my cars to be individual and you probably gathered like I like obscure cars like the Bauer is a bit obscure a 200 Touring is obscure but I like to put my my individual mark on that car yeah you know I mean and and it seems to work and people do appreciate it <laughs>